Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 13.6 beta 2 has been out for a few days. I've been using it on my iPhone 11 pro max, as well as the iPad air 2. I have it installed on here and I want to talk about how it's been for me, how it's been for you based off the YouTube community poll. And then I want to talk about a feature that's sort of new as well as battery performance and then iOS 14 toward the end of the video. So if you want to jump around in the video, I always link the time codes in the description, or you can just jump around using the, the scrubber bar below now. So you can just jump to the section you want to see now that they've included that. Now, the first thing is sort of a new feature and with Apple news, we know that Apple news plus now has the ability to allow you to read news back to you if you subscribe to it. So you can do that, but also it will continue where you left off. So maybe you're reading an article on whatever you have here. I don't use this application, but maybe you're in an article reading something and you want to continue reading that elsewhere. It will help you resume in the same place you left off. So maybe you're reading this one and whatever you're reading here, you want to read that or this one or whatever you have, you can pick up where you left off in Apple news. Plus, if you use it, I'd be curious how many of you actually use Apple news plus. It's not something I ever use. I used it for the first week, never really used it after that. Now, the first thing is issues with this update. Now this is a beta, so I expect a few issues. And if you're having those issues, make sure you report them in the feedback app. That way Apple can categorize them and sort of fix them based on their priority. And the first issue I was having is odd Wi-Fi behavior, usually in Safari, occasionally throughout the OS. But if I'm on Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter where I am. Sometimes it will be really slow in Safari. So if I go into Safari, now I'm on apple.com and if I hit learn more on the iPhone SE, it seems to be okay right now, but sometimes you could hit learn more, say on this iPhone 11 and it would just sort of hang and not really do anything. If I jump off of Wi-Fi, it seems to speed up and then that fixes the problem. So there's definitely something going on with that. Of course, again, report it in feedback. Apple will prioritize that as needed and then fix that. Also, I was seeing that I couldn't dismiss some notifications, not easily. Anyway, I had to swipe them. I couldn't dismiss them as a whole. So that should be probably that's a minor annoyance since I don't look at the notification shade very much, but sometimes it's a pain when I want to dismiss things. Now, personally, I had no other issues. I've had no lockups, no freeze ups. Everything's nice and smooth. If we go through here, it seems to be fine and everything is working well for me, but a couple of you or a f quite a few of you had a few different issues. So the first thing is again, people were having issues with Wi-Fi. So I'm not the only one. Some people were saying it was slow. Other people were saying that it was just dropping off for them. So maybe it was connected, then it would disconnect. It wouldn't be in the top here, then it would reconnect or something was going on since the update. It seems to be consistent across quite a few people. Other people are mentioning that they're having apps crash. So maybe they're in YouTube or maybe they're in the camera. They're saying that the camera is actually crashing sometimes too. So maybe you're on the forward facing camera and then it will just crash and you won't be able to use it. A few people are saying that there's app crashes throughout. And again, specifically with the front facing camera also. So if you're not having that issue, be thankful. I'm not thankfully, but other people are seeing that and random app crashes. Now, one other thing that people are complaining about is mail. I saw this mentioned quite a few times and you'll see that in statistics later on, but quite a few people are still having issues with mail, whether that means it's showing up with a notification dot there showing that you have email and then you go into email and there's nothing there and it has to refresh and then get your email or just random problems, blank, sp blank spaces. If you're using Gmail, I talked to someone about that and some people are just still having issues with mail. And at this point, mail should be pretty solid. So hopefully Apple really fixes this either in the next update, or maybe they'll do a redesign with iOS 14. Other than that, most people are saying that performance is fantastic. And this late in iOS 13, I would expect that performance is great as well as battery life. Most people say battery life is better. And I took all of that information from the the comments, I'll show it to you in just a moment after I show you my battery life. But if we go into my battery health, I'm now at 97% and the update did not cause this to drop just as the battery degrades over time, this number will go down. So I was at 98% for at least a month and then it went down to 97 and 80% after two years is normal. So it's nothing to worry about. And then as you can see, my usage has been sort of consistent, at least in the way the battery looks anyway. So three hours, three hours, 
here's a better day, four hours and 29 minutes screen on time, one hour and 44 minutes of screen off time. And I didn't even use 50% of the battery. So that's pretty good. Again, 10 to 12 hours of screen on time is normal for this phone. And it seems like most people are getting the same or better battery life than iOS 13.5.1 or the previous beta. In fact, out of the people in the comments, 79% of you say that it's the same battery or better than what you were on before. So that's a really good sign. In fact, only a few of you said that it wasn't good battery life. Now, before we take a look at the YouTube community poll, here are all of the issues mentioned. And I just run these every week. You can see here's the issues mentioned, battery, things like that. Some people mention those words twice. So this doesn't necessarily mean there were 28 good or bad issues with battery. It just means that there was a men they were mentioned that many times. And then here's all of the devices that everyone's using. That's actually participated in the comments and let me know what device they're using. Now with iPad OS, most people are saying that again, they're having the same sort of experience. Performance is good. Even on older devices, going into things like music or whatever you're using is not going to perform like it was when it was new, but it's better when it comes to iOS 13 performance. So most people are not having an issue. They're having no issues with anything other than the, the issues I mentioned already with Wi-Fi, for example. So hopefully Apple will fix that either with a modem update on their Broadcom modem or maybe something else in the future. Now let's take a look at the YouTube community poll. Now at the time of making this video, you can see that there's 5.8 K votes. So almost 6,000 people have voted so far. So I really appreciate that. You'll see that 14% of you have said that it's great. Only 2% have said that it's terrible. That's pretty low. And 4% say, okay, but some bugs, but most of you 60% are either on iOS 13.5.1 or older. And then 20% of you are on Android. And this number keeps going up. I don't know if that's because people keep buying or switching to different phones, but either way, thanks for participating. But 60% of you are probably staying on the older version, whether that be for jailbreaking or just, you want to wait until a beta is, or it's out of beta. And maybe we have iOS 14 betas, or you just want something more stable. Now let's take a look at some of the comments at this time. There's 113 comments. And again, that's where I get all of the information that I shared with you earlier. Earlier. Now let's take a look at some of these. The first one says iMessage crashed while texting. So far, so good on my 10s max, no issues to complain about as of yet. Battery is good. Left my jailbreak for this update, got bored of my jailbreak. I'm fine until iOS 14 comes out or jailbreak comes out. There's a weird bug on my 10 R where sometimes only the front camera works been very good battery life, a little better than 13.5 smooth, no freezing, no crashing. I got a modem update from 2.06.00 to 2.07.00 Wi-Fi and LTE. No problems iPhone 11, pretty solid battery was much better in the beta before, however, and still waiting for a modem update as connectivity is still very sketchy. It's been a better experience than 13.5.5 beta one. At least battery has been no different from the last few versions of iOS 13 and performance has been more or less the same ever since iOS 13.4 for me. iOS 13.6 beta two is just perfect on my iPhone 10 S and iPad air three. It's fast, smooth, and has great battery life. The only problem is just just mail app works sometimes not as good as it should be or not good as it should be using iOS 13.6 beta two on my iPad fifth gen. And I think they fixed the mail issue, but I don't want to say they did and they didn't waiting for your vid. And as I mentioned before, mail has been hit or miss for people. For me, it's been fine. Other people say they're having issues running it on my iPhone SE 2020. The battery life is good, but I'm having a problem with my left AirPod. It is not connecting. And when I try to hard reset my AirPods, the Amber light doesn't work. You might have a problem with your AirPods. You may want to contact Apple about that. I haven't had any issues with AirPods with this iPhone 6s plus seems to make YouTube crash when locked for a long time. Great on iPhone SE first generation email app is still not what I would expect from it. So far it's been great. No problem to report battery life seems on par with 13.5.1 and no lag or email problems either iPhone eight plus everything is great. No issues to report iOS 13.6 runs perfect and smooth on my iPhone 10 S max less bugs than iOS 13.5.1 iOS 13.6 beta two on my iPhone 11 pro max has been really good. And the Ram management is much improved. Has anyone noticed a bug in Instagram? When you tap on your profile, it just shows nothing on the screen. 
A weird bug that I noticed at first is that when I finished installing the update, the haptics didn't work in certain scenarios, but it worked. It was a rather weird background software process. I installed the beta today on my iPhone 7 and everything seems to be going very well. I haven't experienced any bugs or battery drain so far. Performance also feels faster than on iOS 13.5.1. We'll read a couple more. I installed it on the iPhone 10, but with the first beta, it does not allow third party music app to play in the background. So downgraded iPhone 10 S feels very warm and starts lagging crashing when I've been on a video call for over 30 minutes. The video calls will make your phone get pretty warm. I've seen that very consistently. I haven't necessarily seen things crash, but it will make it quite warm in general. Now that's it for iOS 13.6 beta two. It looks like we can expect another one this week. Maybe we'll see iOS 13.6 beta three and then maybe a final release sometime in July for the public, but expect iOS 14 beta one on June 22nd. Now the keynote was announced to be at 10 AM Pacific time or 1 PM Eastern time. So if you want to watch that, you should be able to stream that. I'll be watching that on the 22nd and looking very much forward to that and seeing what's new, not only with iOS, but Mac OS and new Apple products and everything else. So be sure to check back for any of that information, of course, and iOS 14 hopefully will bring stability and some exciting features, but let me know what you want to see most in the comments below. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.